problem five, a container closed by a movable piston. What I mean when we have a container with a movable piston, so the piston can move up and down without any resistance with the, with the internal wall of the container, okay? For example, if I give a quantity of heat to the system, the volume will increase and the piston moves up without any uh, resistance. And I give you the mass M here, M of the gas equals to two gram of helium with an ideal gas monatomic. When I say we have a monatomic gas helium, it means L equals to three. In the case of the atomic, L equals to five. And gamma, the adiabatic constant, adiabatic constant equals to L plus two divided by L, okay? Equals to five over three. This is the value of gamma. Uh, we can one point, one point six. Okay, initially we have the state one with P1 and V1. We have a reversible adiabatic compression process to transform the gas to the state two. And between we have adiabatic process. What I mean, delta Q between the state one and two equals to O. We arrive to state two with P2 and V2. Okay, we give P1 equals to 180M and V1 equals to 10L liter. Okay, uh, you know, in general, you can use the unit of P in Pascal and the unit of the volume in M cube. 180 M equals to 10.5 Pascal and 1 L equals to 10, 1 liter equals to 10 power minus 3 M cube. Okay. Question one, find the final volume V2. I want to find V2. Uh, and here I give you P2 equals to 380 M. Okay. To calculate V2, you know the uh, in the case of adiabatic process, we have a relation between P and V, where P1, V1, or in general case, in the case of adiabatic, P, V, gamma is constant. And you have also uh, T, V, gamma minus one is constant, and T, gamma, P one minus gamma is constant. So you can use the first one, P one V one gamma equals to P V two V two gamma. I want to find V two. So V two gamma equals to P one over P two times V1 gamma. To calculate V2, we can divide by gamma. Gamma 
here also gamma. Okay, so V2 equals to P1 1 over 3 1 over gamma. Gamma equals to 5 over 3. Okay, we have here 5 over 3. You can put it 3 over 5 here. Okay, this one equals to 3 over 5. We can put it directly. Okay, times V1, we have V1 equals to 10. Okay, we can calculate V in letter. Uh, you get the answer will be 5.17 liter or equals to 5.17 times 10 power 10 uh, minus 3 m cube. So we write here the value 5.17 L. Okay, now part B, find the work received by the gas. You know, when I say received, in general, as you see here, the volume decreases. So the, the, in, in this case, we have omega must be negative. When we have a, a decreasing of volume, omega must be a negative. And here I am talking about omega by only omega by, by the gas. So in this case, we can find the work received by the gas. Uh, in the case of adiabatic gas, omega equals to P initial, V initial minus P final, V final divided by gamma minus one, okay? Here, uh, we have P1 equals to one times 10, five Pascal times V1 equals to 10 times 10 minus three and P2 V2 divided by gamma 1.6, gamma minus one, minus one. Okay, we calculate the value, it must be negative. 9.1 times 10 power two joule. Okay, we write here, omega one, two, Okay. Part C, find the internal energy change of the gas. You know, we have to find Delta E. In the case of adiabatic or uh, here we can use, you know, in general we have Delta E equals to Delta Q minus d omega. In the case of adiabatic process, we have delta Q equals to O. So delta E equals minus d omega equals to minus, uh, excuse me, here we have minus 9.1. It's a negative value, minus 9.1 in, in part B. Okay, here we have minus, minus 9.1 times 10 power two. So we get here delta E 
equals to 9.1 times 10 power 2 joule. Okay. C uh, of D deduce the rise in the temperature of gas uh, of gas. I need delta T without calculating the initial temperature T1. We have to find delta T without the cal uh, without calculating T1. How can we calculate it? Okay, you know to calculate delta T. Uh, delta T, uh, delta E for any process equals to N CV delta T. Here you have delta T. You have to find one expression where you have delta T. Uh, N, we have to find N. You know, I give you, uh, I give you, maybe you have the, uh, molar mass of helium. I give you the molar mass. N equals to M divided by M. We can find N and we have to find CV, which is equal to R gamma minus one. Or here I give you gamma equals to CP over CV equals to five over three. Okay, uh, here, here we have a mistake. R equals to 8.3 Joule divided by mole Kelvin and molar mass of helium equals to four uh, gram divided by mole. So N equals to two divided by four equals to 0 0.5 mole. And CV equals to 8.3 divided by gamma 1.6 minus one. We calculate CV. Seventeen point eight. Okay, we can calculate delta E, which is equal to zero point five times CV times delta T, and you know we calculated delta E, which is equal to nine point one times ten power two. We can find delta T which is equal to delta E, uh, delta T equals to 1C1.8 Kelvin. Okay, this is the value of delta T.